This thing is going to be bonk, bonk. The sound though, listen to that, boom. Hey there guys, Hydra here and welcome to another Terratech episode. Today, what are we going to do today? There are two things that I really want to figure out because first off, we have enemies again. I have been killing a few of them already and at the moment I have nothing to prove that to you guys. Um, but yeah, I've been killing some stuff already and as you can see this thing has pretty changed as well with the last update. Because this is all dark grey now and it looks pretty cool. Pretty damn cool and it looks a little, st a little sturdier as well. It makes you more confident when you get attacked. Which is really important in this game. First off, just give me your opinion about something I'm going to ask you right now. This thing will take some more episodes to build up, yes. And if I decide to actually play a lot without showing you guys, then I can have it done in like one finger snap and it's done. But I don't want that because I want to let you guys see the progression in it and see it build up. And I don't know if, what you guys want. Because this episode or this series is pretty much rotating of starting to rotate around this big thing. Is that fun? I don't know. I'm just here making them and uh, making the videos and I don't have to... Well, I do watch them, obviously, when I edit them. But it's up to you guys to decide if you really want to see this thing build up or not. Or what else you want to see. Just, just let me know. So in the comments, just go type that now. Before we start this episode. Just go type, I want to see this. Or I want to see that. And if you're new to the channel. Or if you do not really often make comments. Still do it. Because we are with 400 people almost. And, um, well, there's a lot of you guys watching the videos, actually. So... I want to hear your opinion, so just go out of this video now, go down here and comment about what you want to see in this series and I will do it, or at least if it's possible, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's all for that, let's just start this episode then. I still want to have those four long blocks though and the enemies respawning again makes me confident that I can actually find them because a five long is not going to work with this monster. Especially when we want to lighten it up, um, like in weight, because this thing is, all these blocks are really heavy. And I think that this thing, uh, I'm not, actually, I'm not really sure how much heavier the gray ones are or the yellow ones in opposite of each other. So that's something I got to figure out, but we can do that. But first I need the blocks themselves. And with the last update, I don't know if you've seen the last episode, but the four long are in here now. There you go, the four block. So we we'll need to discover that first because I don't think we can craft them because the longest at before this update was a two long. Uh, so, and to craft that you needed a three plumbia, I think in a three slot crafter. And we don't have a four slot or a five slot or a whatever slot yet. So we cannot create them. So that's a bit of a bummer, but it's still not undoable. So we are just going to get to the south, get to the salty planes and we are just going to see if they are maybe over there i think that pretty much every machine can have them now around here because they are in the game and they have been in there for some time since they were um oh wow i just got myself stuck here me go that's how you do that there we go that's some wood at least so let's just go to the south see if we can find any machines over there I hope we do and if we don't then we are fooped alrighty then is that it has green lights so if you shoot it it will explode that's the definition of green lights if it has green lights it can explode oh this is a two megaton cannon thing I'm going to see if I can claim them from you because megatons are way too expensive there we go same as last time the dude who designed this vehicle should really work on that because he is really easy to take out Megatons on the side, as always. So cool. I love them. Boom! Boom! What? Oh, these are actually fine artillery cannons then. Hello? Catch! What's that? Oh, this is the outside ring again. This is that same area where I always have a lag spike. 
I don't know if it's just every time I load in or I, I don't know. Oh, this thing had these blocks with them. I'm just going to gather them because they are not really expensive, but still saves some hassle of buying them. And that's pretty much all the useful stuff. I just to grab one wheel. Ah, oh, that's good. Is that another Megaton cannon, dude? Because if that's the case, then we just have four Megaton cannons. That saves us about 24k. Yes, it is. Good. Nice. Because these are going to be the weapons that are going to be on our Flying Fortress. Because all of you were saying, put Megaton cannons on them. Okay. Then I'm just going to do that. What? 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 Wait. What? What? What's he doing? Oh. He just killed himself. I do nothing. I'm not doing anything. He just killed himself. Thank you. Can we pop you on there? There. Wait, wait. What's what's the right way? That's not the right way. Come on, just... Uh, there. <laughs> now he's going all sneaky. Can you even... Wait, where's the fourth one? There you go. I need to pop you over there. Oh, even better. Let's just pop you over there then. Wait, Cannon, you're just going somewhere. I don't care. And you're going over there. <laughs> Look at that. He's not in the healer at the moment, though. That's something that might worry me. Stupid venture blocks. You guys are utterly useless. And the wheels are as well. Go away. All right, so now we just need a forlong. Sounds like a subway sandwich. So this is uh, today's hole. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven megaton cannons just by going to the the blue planes. So there are a lot of tiny cars up there, big cars, anything with a lot of these megaton cannons. So this saves us about well 50, 60 k somewhere. So that's really good. I also took some damage because, as always, I'm stupid enough to forget that I have to keep my shields up. So I went into a battle with a big dude. And, um, yeah, I didn't have shields up, so that kind of hurt. And also, do not forget, we have a few Uzis as well. <laughs> it's freaking sick. I'm not going to pop these on the big thing, though. Or at least not a lot. Because with his size, he can have a lot of them and they cause somewhat of FPS problems. So for now, I'm just going to pop these up there uh, at, on the main base as some kind of a uh, defense mechanism. Because that will work as well. And yeah, let's just see if we can get this thing a bit more defensive and where we are going to place the turrets and such. Anything. We're just going to see how that goes. So let's go. So there we go. Those are the cannons on there. And as you can see, I've also been plating it up a bit. So there's a lot more armor on the outsides. And well, it looks pretty cool, actually. I I'm not disappointed in any way. So we're just going to get this away, this to the front. And now we are just going to get some armoring up. And we're just going to completely make it into a flying bunker. Because that is our final purpose, I think. To just make it a full armored thing that can just destroy anything. So that's going to be really cool. Oh, I, would, I would honestly crap myself if this was at my doorstep right now. Look at that, guys. There's like four massive cannons pumping out of there. Like, if I shoot now, I will loot all those blocks. So I'm not going to shoot. But we can. We just got to move a bit forward. This thing is going to be... Bonk. Bonk. The sound though. Listen to that. Boom. So yeah, I just want all four sides like this. It's it's a really nasty way of building though. Because you got to figure out that these corners, for example, only have one uh, anchor point. So you cannot put them on the sides here because there's no point there. And to get these things up front here, I had to change these turbines to the sides as well. So we're just going to figure out how to get the thrust upwards back. But we're just going to pop that in the middle over here somewhere. We just got to figure it out. And I'm still also figuring out a way to get resources in here as well. Because we can 
pretty much armor the whole side and pretty much everything. But we gotta figure out a way to get resources in here as well. Maybe we can figure out some way of having GSO receivers on the sides here, on the outskirts of the tank itself. And maybe we gotta place some turbines over here as well. I have no idea yet, guys. This is going to be a whole lot of tweaking, a whole lot of trying, and a whole lot of crying for things not working, that's for sure. So let's build up some more just to see how far we can get. And maybe close this up on the top here. That would be so cool. Yeah, we should try that. I'm going to try that right now. It looks so cool, guys. Just look at that. Bog. This reminds me of that first... Uh, one of those, those tanks that um, Leonardo da Vinci ever invented. It's probably in Assassin's Creed as well. I think it's in Assassin's Creed 2. It's pretty much a um, wooden a ball and on every well every amount of degrees there's one cannon so it's pretty much just a death ball and it's so cool and it looks a bit like this all the while but this is square but there's nothing you can do about it because it's a voxel based game so it's well not really voxel it's like cubes cubes everywhere so yeah what's up next we are just going to get some more armor up here as well and we might as well do each and every side of this don't we we don't have the amount of cannons though but I just want to see how it looks and from there on we can actually build on and see if we can get enough turbines in here as well to actually make it work and I am really doubting if we can actually have, well, leave enough space in here to build up, build in, build in, build to build stuff at least because we have enough solid on the bottom as well so we might just build a dent in here somewhere where we can build all our machinery so make it a bit lower, one block, two blocks maybe. Yeah, let's just see what we can do. It's gonna be fun. So this is it. I've pretty much closed up all the different sides. We still lack a few cannons. Oh no, I forgot about that one. No, we need one more armor. I've been playing for so long guys without showing you guys anything, but building this is really, really a puzzle. Because you gotta make sure that everything has his own connection point. And yeah, well, that's pretty hard sometimes. I also lowered this middle area a bit. I'm gonna place these turbines here. I don't know, they are still going to be moved somewhere. And at the moment, you probably aren't surprised this thing wouldn't lift a bit. Because it's freaking heavy. And I can understand that. And I wouldn't have guessed something else. Because it's really, really, well logic can we go over there nope so this thing is going to get one layer of armor underneath here as well maybe two depending on how well it can hover but that's also something we just got to figure out wait we were on rocks aren't we oh no we are just on oh yeah well then what happens if i try uh this we tumble over? I think not. We, we're looking like a freaking drivable UFO here. Where? where is it underneath there. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck's sake! Oh my god, why is this happening? Alrighty then, let's just press B because that's what normal people do. A B. Man. <laughs> All right, this looks a bit dull, but we'll manage. It's it's cool. Burp, burp. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tree. Catch. What? Phone, go away. Bonk. Long range tree sniping over here. There. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um. This might just become a really short episode, but I've been playing for like one or two or three hours maybe to get this up and running for you guys. And I just really hope that it is what you guys hope for. I'm really curious about that. Um, oh wait, this thing can just lift stuff up when driving over it. Oh my god, this is going to be so cool. Look at it. This thing picks up stuff. 
without the use of any GSO receivers or whatever. But in the end, we obviously want this thing to do the same things that this one and this one can do. So in here, I wanna have a scrapper manufacturing machine, which just scraps everything we pick up. I want GSO receivers on the side so it can actually pick up blocks as well. Um, inside, I wanna have a crafting table and everything in there so we can make the compounds, the alloys, and shoot them off straight away. Uh, so there's really a lot of things that I want in here and I'm not even sure if I'm able to But the least we can do is try though. So why not? What's what should we do next time? Just let me know in the comments guys um, If you are a bit getting a bit tired of building this thing then I can understand then I will build this in my own free time when I have nothing to do um, If you guys are really excited about this like I am then let me know as well because you guys are going to well, what I really want is that you guys decide what's going to happen in the next episode. There might be a day between, but remember that after this week, so after this next weekend, I will be back at my own schedule where I can only pop up uh, videos for like once, two, twice or three times, m maybe four a week instead of one or two a day. So that's going to be, well, really getting used to for me as well. Well, especially for me. I don't know for you guys, but especially for me. Oh, and I also bumped off my armor already. Cool. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys want to do. And I hope to see you on our next adventure. Alright, guys. Are you ready? I'm not. But I hope you guys are. There we go. <laughs> This thing is a beast. Six point. Hello. Boom. Oh.